Summertime is well and truly here, and while spring may be a pretty good time to go thrifting, summer, not always so. You got kids out of school, people taking vacations, more people thrifting, which means often less stuff for you to find. However, I'm feeling lucky today because I've got a hot tip of an item at a local Goodwill, and if it's there, it's going to be awesome. So, let's go thrifting. Uh, before we go check out my hot tip, let's check out this hot new thrift store, which is actually not too new, but I want to go check it out anyway. I haven't been here before on thrifts, and that's because there usually is nothing of interest. It's, it's pretty much just your generic kind of thrift store run by Rescue Mission, and they've got their typical media section with a lot of VHS tapes, more than some stores I've been to, and CDs and, and very few games or anything computer related. About the only thing of kind of interest I found was this odd sort of controller. It's kind of a split thing with some sort of optical sensor and a broke off joystick there. I'm assuming this went to some sort of like just random generic TV game clone system thing. Oh well, that was it. I just wanted to show you that this place existed. Now it's on to my previous favorite Goodwill with my lucky rock out front. And since I've been having luck rubbing it and whatnot, I figured this day I will make an offering to the rock. Have a penguin. And right away I find one of the original iMac keyboards with uh, not a hockey puck mouse, one of those clear ones that they used a little later on, yeah, you know, whatever. I also happen to run across this true touch keyboard, which you can truly touch it. You, you can do it all you want, you know, you can touch it, it just doesn't feel very true to me. I don't like it. But right above, something I do like and was kind of tempted to get actually is Microsoft Works for Windows 3.1 and I, I uh, actually played with this a whole lot as a kid. Box was not as good a shape as I wanted though. Over in the DVDs and nonsense like that, I happened to run across Spore Hero for the Wii. You know what? I completely forgot this existed when I reviewed Spore. I would have mentioned it otherwise. I'm gonna get it. Over in the auction cases too, it looks like that as of May 21st, which is when I was recording this almost, uh, the auction case is disappearing and it's just being filled up with uh, stuff like this. That's just normally priced. Well, normally I say, I mean, it's not up for auction, but the prices are absurd. $260 for a basic Model 1 Sega Genesis and a few games. Something else back there called Robo Rally, a Richard Garfield game. I, you know, it just intrigued me, but uh, again, really overpriced. Same with this Nintendo Entertainment System. I mean, holy crap, $300. Where are they coming up with this? Like, I, I know they're trying to replace the auction case, but just putting ridiculously high priced stuff and hoping you'll make the kind of money you did on auctions just is not gonna work. It, it, I don't know what they're doing here. Thankfully, the rest of the store isn't as patently absurd in the prices. Uh, like a whole bunch of these blue Texas Instruments calculators for kids. These, these are just intriguing to me. Like, I don't know, I like kids' calculators and stuff. And then there's this. Oh my word, this is cool. This is an Atari calculator. You might not have known those existed, and I, you know, I didn't even either until I started looking at calculators a few years ago. These are really rare. Missing the battery cover, but I mean, this is a CC1900. I made in like the late 70s or whatever. I mean, these, oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. I hope it works. Also found another really awesome calculator. This is a TI-4000 by Texas Instruments electronic calculator with this really awesome orange display. Uh, yes, yes please. Wonderful design, just the aesthetic that I, I go for like crazy. This, this should clean up nicely. It seems to be working fine. Made around 1974. Uh, this is just me all over. Also me all over, just, I mean, cause wood grain and silver finish Panasonic. Yeah, this is an eight track player, neat design. I quite like it, but I, uh, I'm gonna pass on it for now. I am not quite tech moan, but I'm getting there. Another eight track player over here. This one is a, a really neat, like portable design. So it's got these, it, it connects together into just like sort of a carryable package. Carryable, is that a word? Portable. And it's uh, got an eight track over there to the side. Speakers built in in the middle. What looks like cork board on the front of them, but it's not. And uh, I don't know, this is just a really neat, but incredibly cheap looking unit. So I passed on this as well. Ooh, what's this? An intriguing looking case. Oh, it's just one of these crappy Crosley record players. Nope. Oh, hey, here's a clock that I enjoy. 
Look at these dials, these, these knobs that display the wood grain. Oh, it's so tempting to get it. I don't need it, but I want it, but I, no. Ooh, what's this? Chicago skyscrapers. This is another sort of a 70s looking thing. It's it's almost like a, kind of a postcard, but it's like a fold out <laughs> dealio. It looks like something you'd put in a wallet, a really big wallet, but I like these retro photos of the city, one of my favorite cities. Uh, it's just really cool. And I, I like the fact that it calls the Sears Tower, the Sears Tower, not anything else because that's the only name for it as far as I'm concerned. Over in the toys, I found a rapy test or rapy test. No, it's gotta be a rapy test. Ooh, this is a mini moisture tester or something weird that I don't need, but that's intriguing. Down below that, I found a PC game, the Multimedia Bug Book. Well, it's not exactly a game. It's one of those multimedia PC like CD-ROMs for Windows and Mac from back in the day. Yeah, sure, I'll get it sealed. And then just over from that, I found yet more edutainment type PC stuff. Check this out. Freddy Fish 2, haunted schoolhouse thing. Reading blaster for second grade. Read a rabbit something or other, let's start learning or something. Marty and the Trouble with Cheese. Okay, see the thing about these is, and I already have one of these without it, but they're supposed to come with this Marty and the Trouble with Cheese microphone, and I'm gonna open it. Oh my goodness, it comes with the microphone. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for this for like a decade. I am not, I'm not even kidding. Holy crap. Holy crap. I need to get out that wet tester again. What is, oh, it does obviously not working if it's saying that I am dry. Come on now. All right, so maybe that was only exciting just to me as a Maxis collector, but how about this, okay? This is an Electro Voice 676 dynamic cardioid microphone. This right here is the microphone that Jim Morrison is so famous for having used on stage and recording and just, this thing is like one $200. Missing the cable underneath, but I'm sure that I can find one 12 bucks. I'm, of course I'm getting it. The design alone is worth it. It looks kind of like a lightsaber. On to another Goodwill because the day is young. And this is kind of disappointing compared to the previous, at least in terms of electronical things. Oh wait, here's something that's kind of interesting, I guess. This is a, a realistic solid state amplifier. Uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's wood grain and switches and knobs and things that I like and you know, uh, got no need for it, but I like holding it and looking at it, it makes me happy. On the shelf behind it, this thing got my attention immediately. Just look at the design. It's super cheap, but looks pretty cool. This is like a Duquesne VP-matic thing that lets you see presentations of film stock for you know, presentations and businesses and whatnot. And you can got a little tape player there to have a presentation go alongside of it. Uh, you know, absolutely not something that I would necessarily want, but looks pretty cool. And around the corner is a whole bunch of keyboards, including another older iMac keyboard just hanging around here. Finding quite a few of these today. And uh, it looked like about it. And then I noticed, what? What? All right, so I have one of these at home. This is a, a DOS keyboard, Model S Professional, mechanical clicky keyboard, Cherry MX Blues. This is a $140 keyboard. And it looks like it's just missing a caps lock key. And that's about it. And they're selling this for $2 and 50 cents. Okay, yeah, I'm buying this. I'll take a spare, sure. Okay, another Goodwill. Let's go in here and we will find uh, CDs and things right at the front now. I don't remember if they were last time, but they are now. And uh, there's, there's not much to choose from that I don't already have. Over here though, on the, uh, uh, whatever this is up front, there's an EG Force 6200 graphics card. You know, I used to have one of these and I kind of still wish I did. In fact, I would have picked this up if it were cheaper than $25. It's just useful in like a certain era of kind of Windows XP PCs. And what is this? I see pinball. Ah, uh, it's kind of crappy pinball though. It's a Marvel themed like children's pinball table. It's all plastic and really cheap and, and it looks to be in horrendous shape. Uh, but still, I don't see pinball kind of things like this at Goodwill. Uh, pretty much ever, so it's just an interesting thing to see. It was $100 though, so nah. And on top of the trusty old golf clubs, I see what looks to be a trusty old case, and uh, my word, <laughs> this is one tremendously classy cassette tape holder. I, I really kind of wanted to get it. If it were purple inside instead of blue, maybe, I just want to go for that whole Saints Row theme. Check out this absolute monster on the bottom shelf here. I thought this was an IBM wheel writer at first, but nope, it's Sharp's alternative, the ZX416. I've never seen one of these before. 
Ooh, I see an electronic football of some kind. Eh, well, okay, so it's not the Mattel one that I was hoping for. If it was, I would have gotten it, even at $15 in the box. But, you know, I, I don't know. This one, maybe somebody would want it. I mean, it's still pretty cool, but... I just, just not the one that I would want to cover in a video form. I do want to cover an original Mattel one, though. Ah, I noticed this little doohickey hanging down beneath the uh, crap section, and, uh, well, it's a VCR. I have never seen a VCR in this form factor. Look at this. It comes in a carrying case. It's got these neat buttons, connectors on the side and everything. This is just a really compact, portable VCR design. It's also really dirty. All right, one more Goodwill because I can. And inside, I immediately noticed Super Smash Bros. Melee here for the GameCube. And of course, it's missing the disc because someone always takes these if they leave them out like this. So, ugh. I know they don't keep them behind the counter or anything. That's just, they get stolen. Something that hadn't been stolen, and I, <laughs> I can kind of understand why. It's this PlayStation 3 sampler disc that comes with a copy of Pain. I remember seeing these around when the PS3 launched. I worked at Target at the time, Electronics. Uh, we had like a whole stack of these in the drawer underneath the counter, and I think they just got thrown away. Checking out the useless knickknacks section, and oh, my phone's buzzing. Ah, oh, it's a Pokemon. Gotta catch it. I'll save you, lady. Okay, you're saved. That's good. Nah, all right. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of useless crap here. Moving on. Hmm, this is an interesting looking JVC VCR. I love these fold down control panels like this with the logic controls. It's just really neat. Look at that. Uh, it's a cool design. If I were looking for a VCR at the moment, I would probably get something like that. But, uh, you know, I'm not. <laughs> I would totally grab this too in the box. Look at this late 90s goodness. Qualcomm phone. Of course, nothing inside there. Just a box. How sad. Wow, this is creative and crafty and, and stuff. It's a bag made of Capri Suns. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. Oh, man, what is this? Home jogger with mileage computer. Helps you shape up fast. This is like a Wii Fit board mixed with like a Fitbit from back in the day. Oh, man, I, I didn't even know something like this existed. Okay, I've teased you long enough. This is the goodwill that a viewer of mine said there was something here that I would really like. So I went there the moment they opened early in the morning to make sure I didn't miss it. And it was there. Here it is. The wonderful, beautiful, retro-tastic Radio Shack TRS-80 Model 3 microcomputer. It, ah, I have been looking for one of these for just like forever. This is one of the coolest designs for a computer. As far as I am concerned, it is amazingly cool looking. Call them trash 80s all you want, but this thing is, it's its awesome trash. And it's in great condition. Absolutely wonderful condition physically. And the best part, it's only $20. You can pay 250, 300 bucks for one of these easily. Oh, this is so cool. Look at it. Oh, it's so, oh. the late 70s, early 80s-ness of this is just beautiful. <laughs> And you turn it on and uh, the floppy disks start to read the drives and everything, you get sounds and whatnot, but the display looks like this. I don't know how to fix these things. I don't know what to even look for. All I did was clean it up, look inside. I don't know, I don't know. So if anybody knows, like somebody that can fix like the motherboard for one of these or just knows what that display problem is, please let me know. Send me an email or a tweet or something. I I'm happy to pay someone to fix this. I really want to get this thing working so I can review it on LGR. It's just, I love the look of these machines and the software on them intrigues me. This is cool. Time to whip out my new old microphone for the rest of the finds of episode 27. Quite a few really enjoyable little things here, if you ask me. Like Marty and the Trouble with Cheese with the rare included microphone. Rita Rabbit and Friends, Let's Start Learning. Freddy Fish 2, Spore Hero. Reading Blaster for second grade. The Multimedia Bug Book. And a couple of interesting calculators here that both work, including this Atari one with a couple of the AAA batteries. Looks lovely once cleaned up, too, I think. And this classic electro voice 676 cardioid microphone just ah uh, awesome and that's actually what you're listening to me talk on right here i was able to replace the cord just fine and last but not least we have the das keyboard model s professional and just replacing the caps lock key right here and uh, it's pretty much as good as new cleaned up wonderfully works great awesome awesome stuff 
And you guys have found some awesome stuff as well, as usual. You've been sending in photos, and I've been getting them and putting in as many as I can here at the end without uh, going overboard on time. So thank you very much for sending these in and for support of the show continually. Keep on doing that. I'll keep making these as much as I am able to do so. Episode 28 will be along as soon as I have enough footage to put that together. And as always, thank you very much for watching LGR Thrifts. <laughs>